Kina of Bridge of Spirits stars the titular Kina on her quest to heal the land of a curse. She meets the rot, cute little creatures that can restore the land from its, well, rot. It's an ironic name, I guess, but a satisfying feeling whenever you make the grass go green again, much like Okami. Overall, this game has major Okami, Zelda, and even Pikmin vibes. The downside to the concept is that while the individual episodes of Kina, also being a reaper of sorts, healing spirits and sending them off into the afterlife is compelling, she, as a character, is not. Kina is kind, but doesn't convey much emotion. It's a weird line to walk, but hey, at least the cutscenes look good, legitimately like a Pixar film. Voice work is a bit uneven though. In general, this game is gorgeous on PS5 in the photo mode, with its wealth of options, helps you capture that beauty with ease. The gameplay loop involves some puzzle platforming, along with combat. Kina begins with her trusty staff, but that expands into a bow-like add-on that really steps up combat and exploring. It's a good system, but not the most in-depth action combat around. Platforming could be a bit tighter as well, as I often fell short on jumps I felt like I should have made. Also, sometimes the puzzles could be too obscure for their own good, wherein I often didn't know if I had the ability to solve them yet or not, or if I was just missing something. Controlling the rot like Pikmin, as well as finding them, always brought a smile to my face. The aspect of both the rot I didn't like was that one of the main currencies in the game, crystals pretty much, were mostly used to buy accessories for them, and I just found that whole process unappealing. The other currency is used to buy upgrades for Kina, which had a decent array of options. Overall, Kina Bridge of Spirits looks amazing, loads fast, and even though I have some reservations about the combat and the platforming, they are mostly well executed. The story and voice acting are okay with some standard episodes, but Kina herself as the lead just wasn't compelling enough, which is a shame for a game called Kina Bridge of Spirits. It's still clearly one of the best platformers of 2021, even if some things felt hollow about the experience. Did you like that video? If you did, please like, subscribe, and spread the good word of Reaction Examiner. If you want to read more of my stuff, you can find a plethora of my articles over at The Gamer and Game Rant. All of those links and more are in the show notes below. Thanks for watching!